Hello party people! Hello! It's Randy for Thunder Horse Descendant. I'm back here today and I'm so grateful to be back doing The Missing Link. Um, big shout out to Rosanna for covering for me while I was away doing family emergency business. Um, Rosanna did three videos for us, which is super awesome. So make sure you run over to her channel. I will link it here. It is in the Rose Garden. And give her a like and a subscribe on some of her videos. But we're back to missing link business. Yes, yes. This week we are going to be working on the beehive. There she is. The beehive. So, let's see if I remember how to do this. Let's get on down to the mat. Check it out. Alrighty, y'all. Here we are doing the beehive. So this is what it's supposed to look like. And it says we're going to use 16 gauge sterling silver dead soft wire. Well, I don't have any sterling silver wire, but I do have some 16 gauge and I have bronze. So this is what I'm going to be using. So 16 gauge, we need a chain nose. That's this baby. A flat nose. <clears throat> A round nose, a flush cutter, a flat hand file. Let's see if I have a flat one. Here we go. Flat hand file, a chasing hammer. Oh, if I was a chasing hammer, where would I be? All good questions. We'll have to track that down. The chasing hammer. We also need a steel bench block. Which is this guy. Liver of sulfur, which we're not going to use. Steel wool or a rotary tumbler. And a ruler. So, the only thing I'm missing is the chasing hammer. So, I'm going to track that down. And then, uh, we'll jump right into this project. Okay. No fear. Found the chasing hammer. <laughs> Okay, so these are all the things we're going to need for this endeavor. Let's get this party started, shall we? So, what's the tip say? The tip says, snug the two coil ends together within the link so they are not loose. Okay. Insert the tips of the round wire in the plier. Open the coils slightly until you've achieved a tight fit. All right. Okay, so here we go. Number one, looks like we're going to do some coiling. Uh-huh, uh-huh, all right. Make it into a little ball. Uh-huh, what's this? We got two of them on there? Okay, we better read the instructions. Okay, number one, flush cut four and one-fourth pieces of wire. Again, 16 gauge wire, and they want four and one-fourth inches of wire. Okay. All righty, all righty, all right. Four and a fourth. Tell you what, having this clear little ruler is quite handy. Four and a fourth, donezo. Okay. File the end smooth with a flat hand file. File the ends smooth. Okay. Smooth. Filing, I'm filing. That one's pretty pokey. Okay. Okay. Grasp the tip of the wire with the round nose player and form a small loop. Grasping the loop with the flat nose and beginning to make a spiral. Okay, so spirals 
I've been making a lot of spirals, so I feel pretty confident about this. So, I'm going to make a loop and then we're going to spiral it up. Move this out of the way so we can see what we're doing here. Okay, so I got my loop and a spiral. Now, as they were saying about spirals, you're supposed to move the wire a little bit at a time. Uh-huh, okay. So make it a spiral. What it does it does it say how far to go? It does not say how far to go. Step two says just do the same on the other side. They're going the opposite direction. Okay, so I'm gonna go a little more. Now I believe this is going to make just one part of the beehive. So I've got. I've got like two. I'm going to start the other side. I figure I figure that if there's a problem, I can just spin up more on this side, right? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to go the opposite way and make a loop. And I'm just going to spin it. So getting it started is a little hard. And okay, so this side I have more of a spiral. So I'm just going to go a little more this way, and then I'm going to flip back to the other side and go a little more on this side until they're about even. is my plan here right let's bring back in the photos okay so we've done figure one we're working on figure two it says on figure two begin the second spiral going the opposite direction which we did spiral each end towards the center alternating each side so it's equal oh okay so we did that Stop when both spirals touch. Okay, so we do have to go more. Because they're not yet touching. And I think I'll go on this side. Until they touch. I mean, they're pretty close, but I think I can get one more here. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Looks pretty good. Step three. <clears throat> oh, it's about to get wild. Okay, step three. <laughs> Press the tip of the round nose plier through the center of each spiral to space and push out the coils. See figure three. Okay, figure three. Looks like, okay, pushing it through there. All right. If necessary... Pull the wires up from the top of the chain nose pliers to separate, being careful not to leave marks on the wire. If necessary, pull the wires up from the top with the chain nose pliers. Okay. Okay. So. Oh, that didn't sound good. Nope. Nope, it sure wasn't. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to push this through here like this. I get it. We're like kind of trying to make like a dome, kind of. Okay. Got it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was, that was probably not good. 
Okay. I would think I would want them to be kind of equal. Okay, so now they look like kind of like little springs. Got it. Okay. Hmm, look what it did. <laughs> that would be our bargain bead box beads. I have to gather them up. Jeepers, creepers. All right. Four. Grasp the center of the link with the chain nose player and fold one half over the other. See figure four. This is figure four. Oh boy. Okay. Grasp the center of the link with the chain nose pliers. Fold one half over the other. Okay. Fold it. Chain nose pliers. Here we go. Okay. So I think I got to get a hold of this like curve right here. Right? Fold. One half over the other. So it looks cohesive. Okay. All right. Hey. All right. I'm doing it. This one's a little wonky. It's a little bit wonky, but it's working. So it looks like a little springy spiral. This one, this one got a little... This one got a little out of whack. Okay. Now I squished it. Probably shouldn't have squished it. Whew. All right. Okay. Step five. Insert the tips of the round nose pliers between the loops of the coils to separate them so they're equally spaced. Repeat steps one through five with a second piece of wire. Okay. Aim to make both caged beads the same size. The same length. Okay. So it says I gotta <clears throat> I gotta space these out so they're even. By sticking this inside of there I guess. I'm going to tell you, I'm not real comfortable with this. I feel like I'm really scratching the wire up here. But okay. Okay, push it down. All right. This one's got... Okay, I think that's about as good as I'm going to get. So we're going to do it again. Okay. Going to do it again. So we're going to start with our four and a half piece, four and a half, four, no, four and a fourth inches of wire. Mm-hmm. Okay. Got it. So if you miss this the first time, <laughs> this is what we're doing. Four and a fourth. Then we're filing it down flat. Okay. Uh-huh. Got it. Got my nail. <laughs> okay. All right. Then we make the loop. Uh huh. I think I, I think I got it going here. Now I want to make 
on the other side, this side, the same loop. Okay. These look, <clears throat> so these are looking pretty good. I'm feeling pretty confident about this. However, it looks a lot bigger to me than what they have in the photo. Like, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see what happens. We shall see. It's all we can do. So I'm alternating to make these the same size. And I got to keep going until they touch each other. And that seems to be pretty good. Okay. That one might be a little bigger, but I don't know that it'll matter for what we're going to turn it into. All right, then we're going to poke this through there. Ooh, oh, that was not good. <laughs> that was not good. Okay. And then poke this one through there too. Uh -huh. So we got them going, got them started. And then kind of fold this over so I can get a hold of this very middle part and fold one over the other to create a bead shape. Mm hmm okay oh oh okay now putting this guy inside there to kind of space it out so it is not so weird looking Gonna squish it up a little bit. It's too too much. Oh, okay. This one needs a little work. Okay. Okay, it's not horrible. It's not horrible, and they're about the same size. Okay, by the way, did I mention this project is considered moderate? This is the first moderate project that I've done. <laughs> so, okay, we got these. Onward to number six. Form a simple loop at one end of the remaining two and a half inch pieces of wire. Using the midpoint on the barrels of the round nose player, slide both caged beads onto the wire. Trim and cut the end of the wire to five eighths and form a second simple loop. Hold on. Uh, <clears throat> what wire? Did I miss something about the wire? Okay, hold on. I have missed something. So we did number five, insert the tips of the round nose pliers between the loops of the coils to separate them. Repeat steps one through five with the second piece of wire. Okay, we did that. Aim to make both cage beads the same size. Okay. Okay. Form a simple loop at one end of the remaining two and a half inches piece of wire. Um, uh, 
Um, okay. So I think what has happened here is that even though this says cut four and a fourth pieces of wire and it says spin them until they touch you know actually i'm not sure what has happened here so we're <laughs> we're just gonna get ourselves a two and a half piece inch wire because i don't know if i was supposed to save wire from here or not it didn't really specify that so but it says remaining So, uh, I don't know. We're just going to get two and a half inches. That's fine. Whatever. Here we go. Okay. Two and a half. Okay. That's two and a half. And make a simple loop at one of the ends piece of wire using the midpoint on the barrels of the round nose midpoint okay midpoint okay midpoint this is midpoint this other way oh boy <laughs> okay so this is midpoint on the plier and make a simple loop okay and we're doing that and in order to make the simple loop then we're going to get in here and we are going to bend this so it looks like a lollipop as they say and close that up all right i'm actually pretty proud of the simple loop jefferson would be so proud of me Okay, so now it says, using the midpoint of the barrels, the round nose, slide on both cage beads onto the wire. Okay, so we're going to slide on the cage beads. Got it. Put them on there. Hey, hey, it's looking pretty snazzy, you guys. Ooh, better stop squishing it. Um, trim and cut the end of the wire to be five eighths of an inch and form a second simple loop oh if i only knew what five eighths looked like mm, let's see let's see if we can figure this out together that's well first of all this is not even inches let's not figure it out on that side um this is a half this is a fourth fourths are made up of eighths Hmm. One, two, three, four. It must be five. Is that right? Is that five eighths? It must be. Learn something new every day. Let's try it. So, should be, can't see, should be this one. All right, trim it to five eighths, got it, okay. Oh, this is kind of stressful. <laughs> Math and everything, okay. Okay, so then we have midpoint because we want it to be the same size as this one, I would assume, right? So, okay. And do we go the same way? Trim and cut the end of the wire and form a second simple loop. It doesn't say which way to go. doesn't apparently matter. So... Okay. All right. Hey. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what I got. Now, I will say that it needs a little tweaking on some of these areas because I've been pushing and pulling around on it. All right. But, I mean, all things considered, I think it's looking pretty good. 
Now I squished it. Don't squish it. Because <laughs> I, I believe this is supposed to, ow, this is supposed to look like it's like one piece, you know, ow. Okay, well, I've squished it. That was a problem. I gotta get in there with this thing. I gotta get in between this one here. Get that back up there without jacking it up. How am I gonna do it? Oh, okay. Here we go. Chain nose is better. Got it. Okay. Okay, I like that better. Okay, oxidize link with, with liver of sulfur. Buff any oxidization. We're not doing any of that. Um, tumble to polish and soften any tool marks. Well, that would probably be good. But, okay, I see what you're, I see what they're doing here. So, it is really cool, actually. I really like this link a lot. Um, I really do like it a lot. It looks very, like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, kind of rustic? Okay. Now, theirs, of course, are a little more uniform than mine is. And that looks nice, too. But I kind of like mine where it kind of looks like it kind of is kind of rustic looking. I am not mad at it. Of course, mine's all crookedy, but uh, yeah, I'm for it. I am, I am for it. I think it's pretty dang good. It would look really cool. Um, like some of this is a little wonky, but you know, it would look really cool in like a necklace or something. In a project, it would like if you were doing some kind of, you know, cool project. It, would, it could look vintage, or it could look, um, you know. I really like it. Okay. All right, guys. I'll get you some photos.